Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? I know all of you are eagerly waiting to learn something new and exciting today. Well, you won't be disappointed. Os prometo. I promise you. Friends, remember in our last lesson, we came upon a conversation between our friends Abdul and Soya. Let us look at a snippet from their conversation to refresh our memories. Soya says, Buen fin de Abdel hasta, ah, por cierto, la semana próxima es el cumple de nuestra profe, Elisa. ¿Te acuerdas? By the way, next weekend is our teacher Elisa's birthday. Do you remember? Abdel, claro, sí me acuerdo y gracias por recordarme, Soya. ¿Le compramos algún regalo? Buena idea. Por supuesto, le compramos algo. And we will remember that Abdul and Soya have fixed up a meeting on Monday. And let's imagine that today is Monday. Son las cinco y cuarto de la tarde. Abdul espera a Soya en el aparcamiento. Son las cinco y cuarto de la tarde. Abdel le espera a Soya en el aparcamiento. Soya, hola Abdel, perdona por, por el retraso. Hola Abdel, perdona por el retraso. A veces las clases terminan con un poquito de retraso. Hello, Abdul. I'm sorry for the delay. Sometimes the classes end a bit late. And Abdul says, Tranquila, Zoya. Está bien. Vámonos. Zoya dice, Sí, claro. Vamos. Pero, ¿qué le compramos? ¿Un libro? ¿Una novela? So, you can understand that they are discussing about what to buy for their teacher. A book? A novel? Buena pregunta. Elisa es profesora. Ya tiene muchos libros. Compramos una camiseta. O una falda. O algo. Buena idea, Abdul. Uh, Abdul y Zoya deciden ir a una tienda. Abdul, vamos a esa tienda. Están de rebajas. Están de rebajas. Guay, vamos por allí. Abdul and Soya decide to go to a shop where there is a discount sale en la tienda de ropa in a garment shop you normally have sales people in the garment shop with whom you converse and here is the conversation dependiente dependiente is the salesperson so the dependiente is receiving our friends Soya and Abdul. Buenas tardes, señores. ¿Puedo ayudarles? Buenas tardes, señores. ¿Puedo ayudarles? Buenas tardes. Queremos comprar una camisa. Muy bien. ¿De qué color quiere? Asks the dependiente. Soya replies, No sé, ¿qué dices, Abdul? Abdul dice, Pues, en verde, rojo y blanco, preferiblemente. Vale, ¿de qué talla? De talla media, por favor. Miren aquí. Tenemos muchas. ¿Qué les parecen estos? 
Son bonitas todas. ¿De qué son? Esta verde es de algodón y esta roja, pues, de seda y la blanca es de lana. ¿Qué piensas, Abdul? Me gusta esta roja. Además, es de seda y es muy bonita con esas flores azules. Tienes razón, Soya. La compramos. ¿Quieren algo más? Sí, tienen bufandas, claro. ¿De qué tela? De lana. Es que llega invierno muy pronto. Sí, ahora les traigo, dice el dependiente. In the conversation that we have seen now, you have seen that Abdul and Soya were looking for some shirt or something in the clothes shop for their teacher Elisa and they are looking for different colors. Have you noticed the colors? They say verde, verde, green, rojo, red or blanco, blanco, white, preferably they say and the dependiente, the shop keeper or the salesperson ask them de que talla de que talla of which size so they say de talla media media medium and he shows them some and de que son de que son what are they made of de que son de que es, what is it made of? And plural would be, what are they made of? De que son. And he explains them saying that esta verde es de algodón. This green one is made of cotton. Algodón, cotton. Esta roja es de seda. The red one is made of silk. And la blanca, the white one, is made of lana. Lana is woolen. ¿Qué piensas, Abdul? Then Zoya asks Abdul's opinion and he says, I like the red one. The red one because it is silk and is very beautiful with blue flowers. So this is what they choose and Abdul also asks if they have scarves. Tienen bufandas and they ask again the size de que tela, de que tela of which material they say de lana. Lana is woolen. So he brings them scarves and whatever Abdul and Soya have asked him to bring. So you have understood how to ask for things to be shown to a shopkeeper or a salesperson. Now after five minutes again with the shopkeeper, Abdul and Soya are still in the shop. They say, después de cinco minutos, dependiente. Aquí tienen las bufandas, son de varios colores, varios colores. Soya, ¿qué tal te parece esta azul? Hace juego con la camisa. Soya, how do you like this blue one? It matches with the shirt. Hace juego con la camisa. Hacer juego is to match. De acuerdo, Abdul. Vale, las compramos, dice Abdul. Ok, let's buy them. ¿Cuánto cuestan? They ask the dependiente. ¿Cuánto cuestan? How much do they cost? Dependiente replies, 
en total son 58 euros con el descuento. En total son 58. I hope you remember the numbers. 58 is 58. 58 euros. 58 euros. That is 58 euros con el descuento. With the discount. Abdul dice, bien. ¿Puedo pagar con tarjeta de crédito? ¿Puedo pagar con tarjeta de crédito? Do you follow what is tarjeta de crédito? Crédito, credit. So, yeah, you're right. Tarjeta de crédito is credit card. And the dependiente dice, no lo siento. No, lo siento. So, he says, no. Lo siento, I'm sorry. Solo se puede pagar en metálico. En metálico. Pagar en metálico only by cash. Or you can also say pagar en efectivo. Pagar en efectivo is also only by cash. Abdul dice, está bien, aquí tiene. Aquí tiene, here is the money. Muchas gracias, señor. Aquí tiene el recibo. Aquí tiene el recibo. Here is the receipt. Or la cuenta. La cuenta is the bill. Que tenga un buen día. And he wishes them. Have a great day, señores. Gracias. Igualmente. And Abdul and Soya take leave. Friends, I'm sure you have understood the conversation of how Abdul and Soya went shopping and bought gifts for their teacher. The first question the shop assistant asked them is about color. De que color? De que color? Let's learn some basic colors through these objects. Flores rojas. Flores Rojas. Flores, you know what it is? Yeah, flowers. Rojas, red. Hay muchas flores rojas en el jardín. Hay muchas flores rojas en el jardín. Hojas verdes. Hojas verdes. You know what hojas are? Hojas are leaves. Árboles, árboles is trees, hojas, leaves. And you know what it is plants? It's similar to English. It is plantas. So plantas, hojas, árboles. Now hojas are in which color? Verdes, right. Hojas verdes are green leaves. Me gustan las hojas verdes frescas. I like fresh green leaves, right? Then you have cielo azul, cielo azul. You know what cielo is? Cielo is sky. And which color? Blue, right? El cielo azul es enorme. Cielo azul is vast. The blue sky is vast, enormous, enorme. El girasol amarillo mira hacia el sol. Girasol, what is girasol? Girasol is sunflower. Amarillo, girasol amarillo. Sunflower is in which color? Yes, yellow. The yellow sunflower is looking towards the sun, el sol. La casa púrpura es de mi tía. La casa púrpura es de mi tía. The purple house is my aunt's. Friends, it will be interesting to note that colors in Spanish act like adjectives. They change according to number and gender of the noun. 
You say falda roja. Falda is skirt. Falda, it's a feminine noun. So roja. Coche rojo. Coche is car and it's masculine. Therefore, it is rojo. Casa blanca. Casa blanca, you know what casa blanca is? Blanca is white. So casa is house. So it's white house, casa blanca. Piso blanco. Piso is flat. Flat. Mi piso. My flat. Blanco. Blanco is white. We learn more colors in the glossary. Please refer to them to learn more colors. Let us now go back to the class where our compañeros Pankaj and Sara are debating over something. Unos días después, after a, after a few days, Sara says, ¿Qué pasa Pankaj? ¿En qué piensas? ¿En qué piensas? Piensas, pensar, the verb is to think. What are you thinking of? And Pankaj says, Nada, Sara. Tengo que ir a una pastelería. ¿Te acuerdas? Mañana es el cumple de la profesora Elisa y tenemos que comprar una tarta para ella. So you know that their teacher Elisa's birthday is coming and they are making preparations. So they say, Mañana es el cumple de la profesora Elisa Y tenemos que comprar una tarta para ella. We have to buy her a cake for her. So they are planning to buy her a cake. Sara dice, oh sí, me acuerdo. ¿Me acompañas pues? Pankaj asks Sara. And Sara says, claro, cómo no. Muy bien, vámonos. Let's go, says Pankaj. And there in the pastelería, pastelería, we have done this word. Pastelería is the cake shop. Pankaj says, Sara, esta es una pastelería muy buena. Aquí se venden tartas, pasteles, galletas y muchas más cosas. Look, Sara. This is a very good bakery and they sell cakes, pastries, cookies and many more things. And Sarah says, Sí, veo todas esas cosas. Parece yum. Y Pankaj, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre papelería y librería? Explain to me what's the difference between a papelería and a librería. Papelería Es una tienda donde se venden cuadernos. Papelería is a shop where they sell notebooks, bolis, lápices, bolis, pens, pencils y todos esos materiales. And all these kind of materiales escolares, all these stationary items. Mientras en una librería se venden libros. Whereas in a bookshop, librería is a bookshop, they sell books. De literatura, de ciencia, de física, de económicas, etc. Sara says, y al lado de tu casa hay una, ¿no? Yeah, next to your house, there's one. Hay una perfumería. Por eso huele tan bien el barrio. Pankaj says, yeah, next to my house, there's a perfume shop. And that's why it smells so good. Our locality smells so good. Claro. And Pankaj says, pues Sara, ¿a dónde vamos ahora? ¿A dónde vamos ahora? A mi lugar favorito, dice Sara, la 
heladeria. Vámonos, chico. Where do they go now? They go to an heladeria. Helado is ice cream. So, heladeria is an ice cream shop. Friends, I hope you found this conversation interesting where you have learnt about the various kinds of shops that one finds in the Hispanic world. It will be interesting to note that unlike in some countries including us, the shops are named according to the products they sell. For example, carniceria is a shop where they sell carne, zapateria is a shoe shop etc. You have observed words like este, esta, these are the adjective demonstratives, demonstrative adjectives. Now let us look at this conversation. The client says, quiero ver ese libro and the dependiente says, este. Let us throw a glance at the table which will help you understand the adjective demonstratives better. Este, esta, estos, estas. These are this for masculine singular is este, esta for feminine singular, estos for plural masculine and estas for feminine plural. So, Dear friends, in today's session, we have learned to have a conversation in a shop, how to ask the price, how to ask the material, quality using different expressions like de que color, de que color, which color, de que talla, which size, cuanto cuesta, how much does it cost. We have also learned some tools to complement the process of shopping or buying something, knowing the various colors, materials, vocabulary related to the same. I am sure you have thoroughly enjoyed the lesson and learned to shop. Now, when you are in a similar situation, you know what to ask for. We will be back with some more interesting things in the next session. I hope you enjoyed this. That's all for today. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego. Cuídense. Chao.